Hello everyone. In this video, we have a nice geometry problem. We are given a circle where we have two intersecting chords. The length of chord AB is 20.5. We are supposed to find A minus B, the difference between the two parts of chord AB, that is AE and EB. Okay. So before we proceed to the solution, if you like my content, please do subscribe to my channel. Okay. And I advise you to give it a try and later on you can come back and watch the solution. To solve this problem, we need to make use of one of the geometrical theorems that is called as intersecting chords theorem. So we have two intersecting chords, right? So we need to make use of intersecting chord theorem. And what is this theorem? Okay, so suppose we have a, a circle over here where we have two chords. So this is a uh, one chord and we have another chord which is intersecting this chord like this. Okay. And then uh, we call uh, this part as uh, A and this part as B. And let us see, we call this part as C and this part as D here. So according to intersecting chords theorem, A times B, that is this A times B will be equal to C times D. Okay, so this theorem can be proved using the concept of similar triangles, but for this problem, we'll make use of this theorem here. So in the circle, we have two intersecting chords, which means uh, here we can say that this is C and this is D. Okay, so apply the theorem here. So we can say that A times B, A times B will be equal to C times D, which is 7 times 15, which means we get the value of AB as 105. So we got the product a into B as 105, but we want the difference, right? A minus B. So we have the product. We want the difference. We need to take the help of algebra now to do this. Okay. And one of the identities will be used here. Uh, I will write the identity over here. That identity is A plus B whole square minus A minus B whole square is equal to four times AB. So how do we get this identity over here? I will just briefly explain if you want in the side. So we know the formula for a plus b whole square, right? A plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. We know the formula for a minus b whole square. a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Here we are uh, taking the difference of the two identities, right? A, a plus B whole square minus A minus B whole square. So take the difference. When you take the difference, you need to reverse all the signs. Okay. So let's take the difference here. So this will become minus. This will become minus. This plus will become minus and this minus will become plus here. Okay. We need to reverse all the signs. So because of this, uh, A plus B whole squared minus a minus b whole square. What will this be equal to? You can see that a square and uh, minus a square will be cancelled out. b square minus b square will be cancelled out. Whereas uh, 2ab plus 2ab will become 4ab. So this is how we get the identity. Now let's make use of this identity. Here we know the product ab, right? We calculated it as 105. We want to find out a minus b, right? That's the question. What is a plus b? a plus b as you can see a plus b in the uh, particular diagram that is given a plus b is nothing but the length of the chord ab right it's the sum of the two parts of the chord ab ae plus eb so a plus b is nothing but the length of the chord ab and it, it is already given right a plus b is equal to 20.5 so we have a plus b we have ab we can find out a minus b by substituting in this formula let's do that now Okay, so a plus b whole square will be 20.5 whole square. We'll keep this one as it is a minus b whole square equal to 4 times ab. ab is 105. 20.5 whole square is nothing but 20.5 into 20.5. Uh, that will give us 420.25. Okay, if you calculate this, we will keep this one as it is a minus b whole square equal to 4 times 105 is nothing but 420. Now we are supposed to find out a minus b whole square, right? So we will take this minus a minus b whole square to the whole square to this side and we will bring this 420 to the other side. Okay. So that we have 420.25 minus 420 equal to a minus b whole square. So this uh, minus a minus b whole square will become plus a minus b whole square. So we have a minus b whole square 
equal to 420.25 minus 420 which will give us 0.25 so to find out the value of a minus b we have to take the square root on both sides so let's do that so a minus b will be equal to square root of 0.25 which means a minus b will be equal to what plus or minus 0.5 okay but in the question it is given that a is greater than b right so since a is greater than b this sum here must be positive right because first number is uh, greater than the second number so when we subtract small number from the big number the answer is always positive so which means we need not take the minus here so we can just conclude that the value of a minus b will be equal to 0.5 and uh, this is where we stop and this is an elegant solution using both geometry concepts and algebraic concepts so i hope all of you enjoyed the video for more such interesting videos kindly subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video